Magnum Nutraceuticals is the official supplement partner of Wellness in the Multiverse. They are the only supplements I trust because everything is done with integrity. Not to mention, the formulas are backed by science and they only use the highest quality ingredients. Whether you're looking for 100% isolate protein powder, your favorite daily vitamin performance pack, or a complete pre-workout, Magnum has it covered. Shop Magnum at magnumsoup.com and use my code JOGANGI to save. Hello, my athletic geeks, and welcome to a small episode of the podcast. I just wanted to talk about my own fitness journey and what I did and, and what I learned when I was very young and what I, I'm still learning today as my business slowly grows. And the reason why I use the word slowly is it's not where I want to be. It's not exactly at the level I think it can be. And and that was the same thing with my fitness journey. So let's, let me explain. Um, I discovered Dragon Ball when I was about 12 years old. And I saw Goku going through failure and failure and failure. And funny enough, the first thing I, I kind of understood from that is training. So I would start, you know, casually do some push up here and there. I would put my um, dad like heavy boots on and jump because he was going on another planet where they have more gravity and he would be able to, you know, to, to improve his strength through that. And, and through that, through all of those episodes, through all of what he was doing and going through, what we saw all the time is he would just get beat down. He would just get hit over and over and over and he would never stop. He would never, you know, quit. I do believe I'm a bit of a resilient human being or I'm stubborn. I have no idea which one it is. So time will tell. The reason I'm saying that is when I started working out, I had the same journey, the same experience as everybody else. I was 135 pound, small guy going in the gym and, and trying to figure out fitness, trying to figure out what's my next goal, what do I want from it, um, what do I need to do in order to feel more confident, in order to feel better about myself, and I felt, and I stopped, and I started again, and I stopped, and I started, and it was this constant stop and go until I started again to a level where I understood that I needed that. I needed that failure. I needed to not succeed in order to get better, get stronger. This is a good part about fitness. This is a great, you know, lesson. When we talk about going to failure, when we talk about hitting that extra rep, that extra set, it looks hard. It looks terrible. It feels terrible. And it's that extra set, it's that extra kick that helps a lot into growing. Growing mentally, growing physically, uh, understanding your own limit and just going past it. My own limit and how I went past all of it, for me, it's not simple. I started, I, I started my business thinking it would go fast and easy because it's all we see. We see people going online and just, you know, figuring things out. You know, they have millions of views and they have like... Uh, they start a side hustle and then they make millions in about weeks and I don't understand how. I know people that have much bigger fitness business than I do and I had to start my business four times over because of that crazy thing that happened to the world and through all of it, I failed again and again and again until I had a little success. And when I say a little success, I, I'm not saying I mean millions. It's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, oh, I can now make a living. That's it. And then I started making a living out of it. And, and I failed again. And I finished a lot of times on my floor looking at the ceiling and wondering, why am I doing this? Why am I constantly pushing through and constantly 
trying again and trying again. And I, and I realize it's what I've seen. It's what I've seen from day one. It's what I've seen from those superheroes I follow. Uh, it's what I've seen from Goku, from Superman, from you know Spider-Man, from all those big superheroes that would never quit, would never stop. And into all of this, all, all I was thinking about was if I don't quit, I can't fail. Still not convinced of this, but I'm still trying, you know? And I realized I never talked a lot about my, my business side and my, and my fitness journey. Most of what people know is that motivation stuff and that, oh, he's now, you know, he has muscle, he looks tall. I'm not that tall. I just use angles. I went from a 135 pound small and confident guy to 185 pound now less small more confidence but still i have a lot of room to grow i have a lot of room to go to not only physically but mentally i don't want to stop now i don't want to quit now i'm not saying i'm quitting i'm not saying like this is a goodbye or anything what i'm saying is we need to use all of what we learn into fitness. We need to use our resilience. We need to use everything you're doing on a day-to-day. -day. You need to remember every time you got back up and you were like, I'm not quitting now. And this is what I'm trying to remember every single day, every single setbacks, every single, you know, steps. Because from the outside looking in, it looks crazy. It looks nice. It, oh, this guy has, you know, his own gym. He has his own thing going. He's, he's living out of his coaching. He's probably driving a Lambo. I'm not. I don't know what you guys see online. This is not the reality. The reality is a lot of work. It's constant work. It's constantly, you know, putting out content, talking to people, trying to, to get these people in and also trying to stay true to who we are and to who I am. I'm not trying to be over salesy. What I'm trying to do is kind of just light the way, kind of show where we go, kind of show where you can go, where everyone can go when we put time, effort, consistency, a support system into all of this. And again, I'm coming back to superheroes and what, I, and what I've seen and my morals through all of this because I kind of grew up with them. It's, they had that support system. They have, you know, family members, sidekicks, people that help them. Um, Goku's never alone. He has Piccolo. He has Gohan. He has Vegeta. Well, it's, this is a weird situation, but still Vegeta's there. And no matter what, he's going to show up for them. So find that support system and please don't quit. This is, this is what I want to say is please don't quit. Not only on your fitness journey. This is just one aspect of it. This is just, you know, what you can prove to yourself. I can go faster. I can go higher. I can push, you know, that extra rep that extra um, set I can do it therefore what else can I do and this is the point so guys again sometimes I have idea this that pops in my head I have a lot of content to do maybe like five people will see this maybe like 200 people will see this I have no idea of no one but again I'm gonna keep doing this I'm gonna keep you know showing up consistently creating content, helping people, trying to be, you know, there and be as resilient as I can and remember in the background that, you know, there's a support system and remember like all those times that you get kicked and you think of, of quitting, you can go back and you can start again and you can keep going. And guys, as long as you keep going, there's no real failing. You're going to learn something down, down the line. So it was a whole lot of ideas into it. Uh, success, guys, is not overnight. It's not day one I was broke and, and small and like day two I'm rich, you know, and have a lot of muscle. This is not how life goes. It takes time. It takes resilience. You will fail at some point. You will want to quit. But please keep going. Remember that. Um, for me, it was all those superheroes that, that I keep reminding myself that they have struggles as everyone else's, but they do keep going. So I'm trying to remember that.
for you it might be something else so just find that that person that that situation that you can't remember of this time that i didn't quit the outcome was great and just keep at it so have a good day guys i hope it is it was not too much of ramble again i don't have any idea of how many people see that if you do thank you uh i'll keep doing it even if there's two people seeing it because at the end of the day you know it's it's what matters so have a good day and um i'll see you soon Thank you so much for listening. If you want to know more about how I can help you make fitness a sustainable lifestyle, you can reach out to me on any social media platform at Joe Gangi Trainer. Thanks again. Till next time.